yeah, something to do with the zombie apocalypse. And it's cartoony. And it just looks like a lot of fun. <laughs> so, so I wanted to play that instead. And I should have it here already, if it's recognizing. Yeah. So I haven't clicked start yet, or I just I don't know, don't know anything. I know the same amount of stuff as you guys do. Skimming through the zombie apocalypse, the beginning. Hank! Hank! Let me in! Doors open. It's madness. Fucking madness <laughs> out there. What the hell are you talking about? The end of the world? I uh, sure. Hey, hey, can you grab a beer from the fridge? You really don't know yet? Know what? Are you kidding me? You didn't notice all the gunshots and screaming? And like the burning oh, building. The animals are just celebrating something. Just turn on the fucking news, dude. All right, jeez, fine. I'll turn on the fucking news. Coming at you live from Beaver Street. It's complete and utter chaos here. Animals are going mad, biting each other. Will anyone tell us what's going on? Is this for real? It's kind of exciting. <laughs> I don't really think the end of the world is exciting. Is this for real? Yes! A fucking A zombie, fucking apocalypse, zombie apocalypse. Wow. <laughs> Do, hey, Lizra, good oh, to see you. How you doing? There, Thank sure. you so much for you tuning cold, in. Right? Oh, right? That's God, what got me hooked to too. the art style of this but, game. Yeah, I brought some white. All right, let's get this end of the world party started. Let me just call everybody. You brought some ah, white? Son of a bitch. No Did signal. you mean? All right, scrap that plan. Let's do some productive. I have an idea. Okay. We'll go through my whole zombie-related Blu-ray collection. To, pre to prepare for the apocalypse? Yeah, sure. But <laughs> now you're talking some sense. <laughs> but wait, what? It is. Shouldn't we stock up on supplies? Relax, I'm prepared for this situation. I got a year's worth of food and drink up in this place. Hey, Kev. Hey, Chillax. Good to see you guys. How are you doing? Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, ooh, Shaun of the Dead. Shaun of the Dead. Choice. Yes. Ah, son of I did. Bitch. Yeah. Lost power? Don't worry. This happens sometimes. I'm sure they'll fix it in no time. Who is going to fix it? Oh yeah, it's the zombie apocalypse. <laughs> Aww. Ah, fucking cabbage. <laughs> Larry. Wake up! I'm awake! Come here! Another runner! Oh, shit! Hold on! That is one groovy motherfucker! Where? There, in the park! The horse? Yes! He's already dodged a dozen zombies! Whoa, nice! Oh, look at him run! He's looking like Tom Cruise <laughs> out there! In which movie? I don't know! In no, every... basically, yeah. True. That pony never stops. He's not a pony, he's a horse. That's what they want you to believe. Oh, whatever. What are these conversations? Look, the other one. <laughs> this might be the first animal this week to survive the park run through. Care to make it interesting? I bet you two lines of coke. <laughs> I had no idea what type of uh narrative was in here. <laughs> Does seem low uh, volume? I can turn it up a little bit more. Never seen this game before. It looks cool. It does, doesn't it? I just got excited about the art style and the fact that it was like cartoon zombie apocalypse and I like that. Um, but the way they talk is great. <laughs> He'll die. Let's be optimistic. He'll make it. He'll make it. Follow the Ibo, 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 Follow the Ibo, 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 Follow the Ibo. Follow the Ibo, Ibo, Follow the Ibo. Follow the Come on! Yep, that'll be the end of him. No, horsey! Oh, shit! He's done. 
and how bad my reaction speed is. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 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 I'm very totally first try. Lock tape the wide open broken door. Now when you go inside, I'm in. Ah shit. What is it? You just had to pick a store that's already done it. There's got to be something in there. Well, let me look around a bit. There are a few boxes of cigarettes. Oh. Okay, I guess I'm taking the cigarettes. Mm, throw it dice. Six. Gamble past ten. You won. Yay! <laughs> Gambling's bad. Okay. There it is. Oh, finally. I thought you knew where this place was. It's night already. We're lucky we're still alive. I got too dependent on the GPS. So this is it? Yup. Hmm. Seems like a real shithole. Oh, wait till you get inside. No wonder they need to bribe us with a zombie free island and celebrities on the beach. Not like we have a chance of competing anyhow. We're lucky we even survived today. That's where you're wrong. Am I? What if we run into another bear zombie while we're not in the van? Or even worse, a, a rhino! Not even a van's gonna help us then. We'll handle it somehow. Also, look at the bulbs. They're huge! They are. And I can only guess who our other competition is. It doesn't matter. They're furniture movers, and I'm a millionaire salesman. Who do you think's gonna win this race? Yeah, money pretty much is useless now. Obviously the furniture movers. Wrong. Real power lies in the ability to get animals to do what you want. And we are about to harness that power. Well, in my case, I'll just relearn it. But you'll harness it. We've been reading your notebook the whole day, and I don't think it helped No, it didn't. Much. What are you talking about? Of course it helped. Let's go through the lessons again before we call it a day. Nah, I'm too tired. Come on, just a quick glance at it. Alright, I guess it can't hurt. Ah, I'm not in the mood for thinking too much. Eh, I can't hurt. Alright, I guess it can't hurt. Groovy. So first, we <laughs> use different wording, depending on how we wanted things to sound. Weirdos, if we want to make zombies sound less scary. Or something like fighters, if we want to scare prospects. Can you believe the animals at the guild are using weirdo too? Control your ADHD, Larry. I don't have ADHD. I just maybe had it as a kid. Let's stay on the <laughs> subject. Second lesson was Hank's slip. Freudian slip? No, it's my thing. Freaking Sigmund Freud came up with that. Well, maybe we came up with it at the same time. He lived in the 19th century. So what? So <laughs> what? Are, are you stupid? Larry, your ADHD is acting up again. Can you focus on what's important here? I don't fucking have ADHD anymore. Uh, okay, can we continue? Can you grow out of that? So, we used Hank's slip to ask questions and then find out essential information that helped us convince animals to scavenge for us. Actually, Freudian slip is when you let animals talk a lot and then they accidentally slip information from their subconscious. So if you listen carefully, you can find out something that even they don't know about themselves. It's not just asking questions. That's all nice, but I told you this is not a Freudian slip. Uh, is that it? Well, looks like that's it. I really thought we covered more ground. No, we'll go through really more didn't. stuff next time. Anyway, these were just some beginner principles. Once we get the more complex ones, that is where we're gonna see some mad power. Play. I'm not so sure, dude. Animals are still the same, Larry. If I was able to sell them their own pants before, I could do it again. I guess I should give you some credit for making all that money selling garbage. Totally. Imagine how much loot we can get once we convince more animals like bulls to scavenge for us. Well, that would be nice. Larry, you'll see. We're gonna become freaking negotiation jedis um, i don't think so actual <laughs> freaking jedis if we're gonna survive this insane world wait but wouldn't we be more like siths i mean we are getting animals to risk their lives for our game oh you have a problem with the dark side all of a sudden my young padawan i think you're confusing the lore a little bit 
<laughs> not your student. I'm not your student. But no, I dig the dark side. Okay, fine. Let's study this, but let's also learn from practice. And become freaking negotiation Siths! Hell yeah! Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, shit! You know what horror I just realized? What? There won't be any new Star Wars movies. We'll never see the end of Game of Thrones. We'll never see The Walking Dead again. All of these are fucking shit. This used to be really good. Then it wasn't. So, this is the best we'll side of the, the worst. Dead ending. That one should have ended a it long time ago. Yeah. Still, I wanted to see how it would end. Well, alright. Time for bed, I guess. Yeah, let's call it a day. Ah, this bed's a mess. Mine seems fine. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Doesn't anyone clean in here? You want to switch? Why would you want to switch? Because it's like a good mess. Because I don't care. Because I don't care. Hmm, all right. What is this? Dude, your be your bed's all wet and, and sticky. Oh, what the fuck? He convinced me. Ah, <laughs> gotcha. See what the power of persuasion does? That's not the power of persuasion. You just lied to me. Half the power is in lying. I want to switch back. No, you need to learn a lesson. Get up, Hank. No. You're unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Larry. I'm gonna hit the hay. Go to hell. You have a nice night too. Oh, I don't want to sleep in a wet bed. Oh, okay. So we had the first episodes. This game consists out of multiple episodes. And this was the first one. Y'all look thirsty. Alright. We need to drink. Thank you for making me and everybody else in chat drink. Is the rest released already or at a later time? Episode 2 has already been uh, released. We'll get to playing that one as well. But we've got 8 out of 19 uh, achievements, so I kind of want to get the other ones too. Trick Larry into switching beds twice. How the fuck was I supposed to do that? Safety first. Didn't get anyone killed today. Larry. Oh. Hey, Larry. You awake? What do you want? All right. I feel bad about this. Let's switch back to beds. Hmm. You feel bad? That does not sound right. Oh. Okay. No, it was a real jerk move. No, I'm not falling for this. Falling for what? You've been in this bed already. How can I trick you? I mean, that's true. You've been in this bed already. How can I trick you? Why do you want to do this? Come on, Larry. We need to trust each other to more in dangerous situations. Why do you have to overanalyze everything? I just want to. Yeah. We need to trust each other tomorrow in dangerous situations. We can't lose trust over a stupid joke. Yeah, I guess you're right. Fine, <laughs> let's do it. Yes! <laughs> ah, crap. You made this one ah. as well. I was just wet from the other bed. Well, at least it's not as bad as the other one. Wait. <coughs> Ow! What the fuck is that? It's a spring. What? A spring. What kind of a spring is this? This thing will skin me alive if I turn around in my sleep. That it will. The thing popped straight into my back. I bled all oh over God. the bed. So this wet shit is your blood? Oh, for fuck's sake, Hank! Practicing <laughs> trust? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I got you again. <laughs> Fucking hell. <gasps> That's pretty insane. Alright. So, I need to bring 
loot over worth over 700 points to the guild. I was focused that I thought that I might need it to have the food, actually. But what I need to pay attention to is literally just the amount of points that it is worth for the guild. Uh, I have that one close. I'm just gonna have to replay that. So hopefully I will see you all then. And um, if not, then I hope you have an amazing rest of your weekend. And I am sure that we're going to talk. Oh. Bye bye. <laughs>